Well, welcome back everyone, and yes, it is Friday night. The reason I am doing a video from home on a Friday night is I've decided to uh, pick some stuff from my collection again, pull it out, put it in the store, and trade some stuff in. It's basically about 30 games. It's about $192 at retail. Really nice to be able to get some stuff that I want. First, going to start with the stuff that uh, are upgrades. I've already had these games, and we've got them at the flea market complete. Some of them are pretty obvious. We've got Quest 64. Finally going to get that complete and box copy of that. we got Fantasy Star Collection in a custom case. we got a complete and box copy of that. It's really nice. And the uh, Dungeons & Dragons Eye of the Beholder. This one does have the manual, but we've got a really nice copy. Again, I'd like to add to my collection. We've got a lone PS4 game. Never really going to play it, so there's no reason to keep it. That is Killzone. Shadowfall. And we've got some N64 games, NFL Quarterback Club 98, Mission Impossible, Toy Story 2, we got FIFA 98, we got King Griffey Jr. Baseball, and Supercross 2000. We got some uh, Super Nintendo games. We don't have a lot at the flea market right now, so I went ahead and went through my collection and just picked some stuff out I didn't want. A box copy of Championship Pool. We have got Madden 94, NBA Live 95, we've got Smart Ball, we have got um, Madden 93, we've got PGA Tour Golf, <laughs> here's a great one, Bass Masters Classic, uh, Bulls vs. Blazers, Probably the best game I'm trading in besides a couple of the complete box ones. We've got Jim Powers, The Lost Dimensions in 3D for the Super Nintendo. Then we have got some DS games. We've got one loose one. We've got Cooking Mama. And we've got some boxed ones. We have got uh, Raymond Raving Rabbits TV Party. The Herbs. Tom Clancy's In War. We have got Medios. Nintendogs, it's the Dotson one. Then we've got a sealed copy of um, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Shadow Wars for the 3DS. I think I picked this up at Big Lots for four or five bucks sealed, so I don't, I'm never going to play it. No reason to keep it. Then we've got a few um, Dreamcast games. Don't got a lot of those at the flea market. We've got three loose ones and one complete one. The loose ones, at least, are in DVD cases with <clears throat> cover art, so they don't actually look too bad. It's Striker Pro. 2000, we've got Maximum Pool, Jerry McGrath's Supercross 2000, and the complete box one is Championship Surfer. So I will show you guys tomorrow the stuff uh, that I'm going to go ahead and add to my collection when I get it all together. So now guys, stay tuned for Saturday morning. Well guys, we are back here on a Saturday morning. We've had quite a few people come in and sell us a few things, so let me show you that stuff. We got some DS and 3DS games. One really good one. The rest are only eh, so so games. We've got Zuma's Revenge. They're all complete in box though, at least. We've got Hello Kitty Party. We've got Touchmaster Connect. 50 more classic games. This is the I Spy uh, game pack. And we've got one lone 3DS game that is Frozen Olaf's Quest complete then the really really good one we've got pokemon black version 2 which is also complete then we had another gentleman come in he's uh, started showing up here recently every weekend he's been uh, coming in sold us some skylanders and 360 stuff we've got a 360 green afterglow controller does work we've got an hd av cable got a copy of minecraft for the 360 then we have got Skylander Swap Force with the portal, and we've got about 17 figures with this carrying case as well. So guys, once things start picking up again, I'll let you know. Well, we have taken in a few more things. One of our regular uh, guys have come in and brought some games. Nothing I really wanted, but I did tr uh, trade instead of cash for the stuff. We've got Afro Samurai for the 360. These are all complete as well. We've got Simpsons Hit and Run for the PS2. We have got Primal for the PS2. And Kids Next Door Operation uh, video game. 
We then had somebody come in and brought us some Atari 2600 stuff. Only took a few games. They probably had about 40 to 50 games. I took about 10 of them. They had a system, but the power, a button on it was broken, so I don't really know how to fix them, so I wasn't going to take that in. Here's the games that we uh, decided to pick up. We got Congo Bongo. Not a real expensive game, but very popular. Pitfall. We got Thunderground. <laughs> With a label coming off. Got a copy of Frogger. Copy of River Raid. Really good shooter. We have got Coconuts. We've got Dig Dug. And Miss Pac-Man. Burger Time. And Popeye. So yeah, not too bad, guys. Yes, four games. And the buy-in continues. I think my wife's about ready to throw me out of the store. Here's a few things we got. DS, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games. Here are the DS games. We've got Sonic Rush Adventure. We've got Sonic Rush. Got a copy of Pokemon Trading Card Game. Copy of Qbert. Got a couple Star Wars games. It looks like this one is Star Wars The New Droid Army. And Star Wars Attack of the Clones for the Game Boy Advance. We've got Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness. And a copy of Sonic Battle. Not bad stuff. So we're kind of mixing things up today. I'm not really going to go down and, you know, go through and break down stuff that we've sold. I may give you some updates uh, throughout the day on where we're at. And if anything really good sells, I'll let you guys know. So once things start picking up again, I'll let you know. So the manager of the flea market came by. His kid had a whole bunch of stuff that he wanted to get rid of. And I mean a whole bunch of stuff. Gave him quite a bit of money for it, but it's really, really good stuff. As you can see, a lot of Disney Infinity stuff. I'm going to lean forward here so you can see. Got some Wii U games. The best one is probably the new Super Mario Brothers U plus the Luigi U built in. A couple of Lego games in there. Some Wii games. You can see Super Mario Galaxy and new Super Mario Brothers Wii at the top there. Really, really good. I know there is a Mario Kart in there as well. Got a uh, Mario Amiibo. We got the Elite Spyro Skylanders. Now I'm going to stand up. Close to 50 Skylander figures. We haven't really been taking a lot of Skylanders in, but these are a whole bunch that we don't have, probably from the newer series. And with a carrying case, and we've got the carrying case here that is brand new. Well, guys, it's 2.30. We are actually sitting at 2.92. That's not too bad, but I will say it has definitely slowed down uh, dramatically here in the last 30 minutes or so. Not a lot of people walking around right now. It's not real hot, though. I mean, it's actually fairly cool still. Uh, tomorrow, it's going to be probably a high of 67. Tonight it's going to be going dropping down to 48. For Florida, that's pretty cold. And Sunday night, it's going to be like 41. So now, guys, I am going to show you some of the stuff. Remember I said I uh, traded some stuff in. Now this is the stuff that I decided to pick up for myself. Got a copy of Fantasy Star Collection, complete in box for Game Boy Advance. Decided to pick up that Sim, uh, Sim City 2000 complete in box for the Game Boy Advance as well. Really happy to get these. Eye of the Beholder complete in box for the Game Boy Advance. Complete box copy of Quest 64 for the N64. Got a couple Saturn games. We've got Resurrection Rise 2. This is Rise of the Robots. First played the uh, original game on the PC back in the 90s. Not too bad. It's like a robot fighting game. Was not going to pass up on this one, especially in the shape that it was in. This is Gex for the Sega Saturn. Really nice to get some complete and box Saturn games to add to my collection. Then we've got just a few loose games. Here are uh, some Game Gear games. We've got Land of Illusion for the Game Gear. We've got Legend of Illusion for the Game Gear. And Strider Returns for the Game Gear. And we've got an original Game Boy game. That's Final Fantasy Adventure. Then a Game Boy Color game. Really love the graphic adventure games. This is Deja Vu 1 and 2. Didn't even realize they made that for the Game Boy Color. So really happy to add that as well. Just a few things we've sold, some of the, I guess, standouts. We sold a Super Nintendo Mini. He also picked up a GameCube that was in one cell. That was a really, really good sell for us. We sold Animal Crossing for the DS Loose, and then I think we sold the Band Hero, Guitar Hero Band Hero, for the uh, PS3. It was like a guitar, the bo original box, the drums, and the game. So, guys, if anything else sells, I'll let you know. 
Welcome back everyone to a super cool Sunday morning here at the Big Top. Just getting here, just wanted to talk about the uh, all those Wii and Wii U games we brought home last night. Decided to take them home, clean them. There's close to 40 of them. It only took me about 30 minutes to clean them with that new cleaner. They run about 15 uh, seconds per each clean. Uh, most of those were in great shape with just a few minor scuffs on them. Well, for 15 seconds, it pretty much takes them all out. So guys, once things start picking up here, I'll let you know. Well, it is currently noon. We're sitting at 183. Not too bad, uh, considering what time it is. And it's normally really slow starts on Sundays. The couple big things we did uh, from beginning till noon that we sold, we sold a copy of Pokemon Blue for the Game Boy. And also somebody came in and spent about $55 with us. They picked up uh, this box copy of Seventh Saga and then picked up a, a couple of the $10 NES games. So guys, once things start picking up again, I'll let you know. Also wanted to highlight, we just got through putting all these Skylanders out. Uh, there was a ton of them. As you can see, now both cases are absolutely slam-packed full. Very, very cool to be able to finally get some traps in for the Trap Team games and some of the figures also for Trap Team. So I forgot to mention on Saturday, meaning yesterday, from 2.30 to 4, we didn't sell another thing. That tells you how slow it was. We ended up at 2.92, which isn't too bad. So now it is 2 o'clock. We're sitting at 3.20. Um, it has definitely picked up quite a bit for us. The big, two big items we sold between 12 and 2. We sold the Odyssey 2 system that I had with like five games. They came with the system with one controller. I threw a loose controller in uh, for free since it was broke. The guy works on uh, the systems, the classic systems. He said he thinks he might be able to get it fixed. Then we sold new Super Mario Brothers for the DS. So guys, yes, once things start picking up again, I'll let you know. So it is 4 o'clock. We made it to 471 today, which is really good because we got our $700 for the weekend, which is always awesome. Just a few things we sold here at the end. We sold an Xbox with four games, original Xbox with four games. We sold a non-saving Pokemon Yellow game. I let them know ahead of time that it's probably not gonna ever save, but they still hadn't went ahead and picked it up. And we sold a uh, still in the packaging PS3 wireless controller, which was also awesome. So now guys, stay tuned for the wrap up. Well, here is the wrap-up portion of the video. Saturday, we did 292, Sunday, 471 for a grand total of 763. Really cool to get over 700 again. It definitely should start picking up uh, after Thanksgiving until probably February to March. It should really start kicking in and seeing a lot more people coming into the store. Um, we'll see, though. Um, it's been pretty slow so far this year, uh, except for, like I said, the beginning of the year when it was pretty busy. Um, so yeah, it was also really nice to be able to get quite a bit of stuff to be able to add to my collection. All that stuff I traded in, a lot of Saturn games, a lot of really cool Game Boy Advance games. So guys, yes, again, thanks for watching.